Jesus says, take my yoke on you. He's saying, be connected with me in such a way that my word won't let you go to the left or to the right. That my word won't let you sit down and become complacent. My word won't let you become too ambitious and run ahead of me. You are connected with me through the word. Take my yoke on you and learn of me. He says, because I'm not a hard yoke partner. My yoke is easy. My burden is light. And what will they find for their souls? Rest. He says, and you will find rest for your soul. If we had to uh, demystify that and bring that up into a 2023 kind of vernacular, what Jesus was saying was, that's a sweet job. That's a sweet gig. Come on, hang out with me. You won't be sorry you chose it. So now he says, so then since you have become my yoke fellow, since you have allowed your soul to be washed by obeying the truth, since you are following my spirit, the end result, that word unto, means it's, it's raising you up to a standard. It's bringing you up to a destination that really your soul wants, even if you don't know in your mind that that's what you want. Unto an unfeigned love of the brethren. I love this. He says the end game, the end result, the finish line is an unpretentious, genuine, sincere, godly kind of love for the brethren. Now, I know that sometimes it's hard to, to love folk that don't want to be loved. Sometimes it's hard to love Christian, godly folk. But one of the coolest things about it is that's because we're, we're all still being refined into the image of Christ Jesus. We're all still being transformed. So now, stay with me here. I want, you to, I want you to take note of this. So all that Christ has done, all of his redeeming love, the blood that was shed on Calvary, God's purpose and plan in your life has a goal. He wants you to love your neighbor with an, a genuine love. 